What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Happy Saturday morning. I sent out a quick little community post to talk about a few things and I actually want to, uh, I, I guess, make a video about them because I think they're fairly important. So first off, uh, we're on the free to play account. I know I've done all of the explore stuff for you guys and the Dante stuff with the pay to win version of it, but a lot of you have been requesting the same thing for the, for the free to play. So don't worry guys, I'm actually working on it. I, I just need a little more time because uh, from the free to play perspective, this whole event is meant to be gated a little bit, okay? And what I mean, what I mean by that is instead of putting a three day portal for each section, they're essentially making you wait for these modules and getting them up. So just so you guys see where I'm at, uh, I have completed and I have recorded the uh, the frost one, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys that one, this fight, and then the last fight is free to play, complete free to play. So you guys can see it is absolutely possible to do this. Uh, so it's not just a pay to win event. A lot of people have been confused by that. And I'm trying to show you guys that there's absolutely no reason to think that whatsoever. Okay, so as usual guys, first purchase completely there, have not touched it. And as usual, I'm gonna show you guys that I'm not using any, any mercenaries at all. So if we go to my mercenary section, zero mercenaries being used. That's been the admin flow that's continue, that's gonna be continuing to happen. I'm never going to be using mercenaries even once in this game. Uh, so <clears throat> first thing I wanna talk about is the Dante event. So let's let's discuss this real quick and explain to you guys why you shouldn't worry as a as a free to play okay so first off a lot of you guys have been asking how do you finish uh the agency okay this part here as you can see here as a free to play i've done oh what is this i don't want that there we go sorry about that weird um okay so let's go back into this so you can see here i've done the five star here that was an easy one i've done four star here the only one i'm missing okay is to deploy at least one legendary fighter my my fashion blanca is coming in two days that means I'll be able to go ahead and use him without the mercenary aspect of things and get that last part done. This will unlock and give me these, these bonuses here and I'll have five star there. Then I've completely finished this. Now, here's what I've been really focusing on with these. I've first off win the, the battle within 10 seconds has been a tough one for a lot of people. Here's the team I set up to do it. Okay. If you want to copy this team, this is exactly how you want to set it up. Okay. Uh, so the, I'm going to show you guys though, what you need to do here. And I want you guys to copy this, okay? If you if you have if you're having a hard time. So Cami, C Viper are gonna be your two main DPS. Uh you want him up here for speed purposes, okay, specifically for speed for the assist. Uh so you get that for eight seconds. That you need to finish this in ten seconds. So and she's gonna boost you up for your damage, and Dalsum is there to give you a little bit of additional damage with fire carpet, okay? Very straightforward thing. So let me just show you guys. Do not auto this. It takes way too long. Watch how fast I do this, okay? I'm gonna manual, watch, 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 watch my buttons. There, 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 there. Okay, that's what you want to do, and that's it. Literally, that's what you want to do, and you can see here the 10 second battle was won. Okay, if you need me to slow it down, I'm going to explain to you what I just did there, okay? I did, I'm going to show you guys one more time, okay, and I'm going to slow it down to times one, so you guys can see how fast it is, okay? Watch, so you go Viper first, instantly get that in, put in the combo for Poison, Cami, Viper, and then click this right away. You don't even need the EX move at that point, right? You might if you need if you don't have as much DPS as I do, but as you can see here, very easy to get done. Okay, deploy now. The rest of them, you just deploy it whenever you need it, right? Deploy no attack. Now, some of you guys are going to be like, "Well, pain, we're stuck here. We don't. We're, we can't be Dante." That's fine. The reason why you can't be Dante is because your modules are not leveled up. Okay, as a free to play, you can see what my focus is: twenty here for my main attackers. Okay. 16 here for my flame. I'm going to get that maxed out as well too very short, shortly for specifically Sea Viper. And then I'm going to focus on tech one next. Okay. Very much doable guys. Remember this is gated by the modules. Instead of seeing a timer for a portal, you're gated by this. So as, as you increase your star level, right? You're going to unlock additional bonuses here that you can click on. So let's here. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We change this. See, these are still locked under 44 and 46. As soon as you unlock more of these, you'll be able to add more buffs to this one as well too. So keep in mind, guys, these icons do, as a matter of fact, represent the unit you're using, okay? So don't just sit there and, and pick anything randomly. The And I've explained this in the last video. These buffs here and these buffs here are all provided to all people, okay? All of your players. These bonuses down here, though, are going to be provided based on the, the tech the fire, whatever, the flame type, whatever you decide to use. And those icons only pertain to those units. Okay. Again, just want to reiterate that because I've done the testing and some of you who de uh, denied the last time I've done the testing as well and came back and said, yeah, Pena, you're right. So I'm glad we're all on the same page now. Um, and we all understand. So with that being said, guys, if you have problems with this one, 
Let me know what you're having problems with and I can try to help you. Kill one enemy within 10 seconds after the battle's easy. Any friendly fighter defeats at least three enemy fighters. Guys, for this one specifically, use Guile or use Viper. And here's what you do. I'm going to just show you guys this one real quick. Go manual, okay? Manual and just literally just do your super once and stop, okay? So watch. I'm going to kill all three of them just with Viper. So I'm going to do the special once. Kill off two of them, hopefully. There's two. Okay, that's the only again. That's fine. So we'll speed this up here. Do not kill the rest of them with anybody else. Just get your EX move up, heal, and just do this. Okay? That shit right there have given you the three. Right there. Right? So these would not have been check marked, by the way, if I didn't do them. Even, uh, even though you finish them, they'll still check mark it the second time around. So you can see here, kill the first enemy within 10 seconds, done with Viper, kill three units. That's all you have to do. So I just want to point out, a lot of people are having problems with this. And that's how it's done. Okay, next thing I want to talk about real quick is the uh, uh, Philophoth, uh, Quilophoth, sorry, Quilophoth, uh, section of the, of the fight. So a lot of you have only unlocked Dante and you're wondering what the hell is going on. Why can't I unlock anyone else? Well, I haven't done this fight in a while, so don't worry about the damage down here. Uh, the reason why you haven't unlocked this second fight, which is Dante and Demon Form, is you actually need to finish the explore section of this fight here. Once you complete this, it opens up the Dante second form, which is him in demon form. To, to fight the last fight, which is Bison versus Dante, you actually need to complete the last part of the explore. So getting 100%, and that will open up the last fight for you. So free to play, guys. Stop stressing, okay? A lot of you guys in the comment section are like, what a pay-to-win garbage uh, event. It's absolutely not a pay-to-win event. There's zero part of this that is pay-to-win. I'm proving it right now on my on my free to play that it's absolutely doable and there's nothing for you guys to worry about. It's just gonna take you some time. They they created this the way they did because they want you guys to still enjoy the content and not rush through it. So you can see here from my from my main account, I got it done in literally in two days. Right for a free to play, it'll probably take three to four, which is still very doable. This event's going on for quite some time. Where people might have some problems, obviously, is if you're a brand new player and you're struggling because you don't have the units. I mean, no brand new player is going to come in here and finish an event the way we, as a as real player. Now, my account's only about a month and a half old, okay? So, it's not that old. Um, and I just want to point out that even a month and a half, you should be able to get that done. So, I hope that clears up a few things. I am going to do the next fight for you guys and record it. Uh, once I finish that, I'll do the last fight, record it, I'll put a compilation for you guys together, and hopefully shoot it out to you guys before the event's done, so it can help some of you. Uh, one other thing I want to do for the next video is talk about how the hell do I have uh, 8 SSS, and what's my method, my formula for getting all these guys. I want to talk to you guys about that real quick, because I think there is a, a big portion of it is luck, but a lot of it is strategic, and I want to talk about the strategic side of things, okay? Alright guys, it's Payne, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.